Hi and welcome to my guide how to complete the Western Provinces easy achievement diary tasks. The quest requirements are room mysteries and big jumpy bird hunting. Skill requirements are 9 hunter, 15 mining, 20 fletching and have a combat level of at least 40. I just needed a bird snare, any kind of pickaxe that you can use, an oak shorebow unstrung, a bowstring and at least one ogre bellows. For the suggested items is some weight reducing armor and one stamina potion should be enough, a weapon to kill a combat 28 terror bird, an ogre comp bow and some decent or good brutal arrows if you have completed the quest Zogre Flesh Eaters. If you have not completed that quest yet then you will need to use a regular ogre bow with regular ogre arrows. And lastly it is also suggested to bring more than one ogre bellows. Currently in my bank I have 23 more. How you are able to get multiple ogre bellows? First you will need to go to Ranthus cave which is located just north of him. There just like in a jumpy bird hunting quest search the chest and there you'll find your first ogre bellows. If you already have one take them with you and drop it in front of the chest then search chest and you will get a second one. When you have your second one, drop it, search the chest again and you will get a third one. Do this until you have 24 ogre bellows in total. This should be the perfect amount if you want to do some jumpy bird hunting. Next for the teleports, I have brought one teleportation method to Piscatoris. I will be using a fairy ring teleport. One teleportation method to the gnome stronghold. Since I don't have a slayer ring, I will be using a ring of dueling. One teleportation method to Castle Wars. I will also be using a dual ring charge and you can't use the minigame teleport because you will need to use the pest control minigame teleport because that is one of these easy tasks that we will need to complete right now. And for the final teleport is one to the Feldip Hills or any other teleportation method to reach Rants. So we are able to claim our chumpy hat after we have killed 30 chumpies. All right, I am currently here in the uh, Gnome Stronghold's bank. Let's climb downstairs and let's go a little bit east to the agility course. We will need to complete one lab which will already complete one out of 11 tasks. Alright, after we have completed one lap, let's uh, get out of this course and on our way out, let's use a short bow. Let's use the bowstring on the unstrung oak short bow. This will complete our second task and you may drop your oak short bow if you don't want it anymore. And let's now continue running west because now we'll need to go to Brimsdale. Brimsdale is located west of the bank, west of uh, Neve's Slayer Cave. Just keep going west until you see a quest and dungeon sign. Here you should find a cave entrance. And inside you will find Brimsdale. Use the teleport option to complete task number 3. Next let's go through the portal. There we go. And let's exit the cave and continue running west, crossing this bridge. Once we have crossed the bridge, he will we will be in the terror bird pen. Let's kill one of these poor creatures. Once we have killed one of them, this will be task number 4 completed. Next, let's cross the bridge again and go north. Now we will need to run north to the no ball field. I have actually never played Gnome Ball except for my main Iron Man. Uh, except for my main Iron Man, I've only, only played once just uh, for this task and I completely forgot how this works. But what I do know is you need to empty your shield and a weapon slot. And let's hopefully open the gate. We'll be able to enter, yes. Let's talk to the Gnome Ball referee. Uh, sure, I will give it a go. And he should give us a gnome ball. 
Okay, now slowly go east because now we'll need to shoot this ball in that goal. Now watch out because there are gnomes that will tackle you and steal your gnome ball. Once they do, just tackle them again and try to get your gnome ball again. Once you have it, let's go east and quickly shoot it in the uh, net. Alright, when you've scored, you will gain 4 ranged and agility experience, and you've also completed number 5 out of 11. Next, let's exit this field, go through this small gate, and let's go north. Now we'll need to go to the swamp, which is just located northeast of this field. Here in the swamp with a lot of red dots, let's take one swamp toad. And this will be task number 6 and also the final task that we will need to complete in the gnome stronghold. Let's now run or teleport to Piscatoris, which is just northwest of the gnome stronghold. If you don't have a teleport scroll or you don't have access to the fairy rings, you will need to run all the way south through the main gate. Run west and then keep running north until you are here at the Piscatoris fishing colony. We will need to be at this mining sign. I will be using my fairy ring teleport. And let's use the code AKQ. And this should teleport us to Piscatoris. Once we are here, let's go a little bit northeast until you see the mining sign. Let's look for a iron rock. Apparently this world is taken. Let's hop to the next one. Alright, let's mine one of these rocks. To complete task number 7, next let's run south and now we'll need to look for some copper long tails. These are some birds, that's why we have our birds now. Alright, I just found one. There should be over here. Let's place our bird snare and wait for one of these birds to sit on it. Alright, let's check the bird snare. Drop what you've gotten. And let's now go to our minigame teleports and select pest control and teleport. Using this teleport we'll complete task number 9 out of 11. Alright, so let's now quickly go to the bank because now we'll need to complete a novice game. And therefore we might want to bring along some decent gear. So I'm going to quickly bring a whip, defender, barrel gloves and dragon boots. More is actually not really needed. Also you may deposit your bird snare and your pickaxe. Those are unnecessary anymore. Next let's uh, do one pest control game. So let's do a world switch to world 44. And let's do a novice game. Equip our gear.
Alright, when you've completed one novice game, uh, if you want to complete the medium and hard diaries, uh, just go a little bit west and complete a intermediate and a veteran game as well. When you've completed both games, let's teleport to Castle Wars using our Ring of Dueling. And now let's go to the bank and deposit pretty much everything. I'm just going to deposit everything going to grab my range gear because now it is time to kill uh, 30 chompies. Okay, this will be my gear. Now I just need my inventory, which will be 23 ogre bellows. Where is my other ogre bellows? Here it is. Aside from that, I will also want to have my Feldip Hills teleport so I can teleport to Rants and claim my final reward. And uh, for my ring, I'm going to bring a ring of dueling which will teleport me to Alcarit and then I'm going to take the glider to Known Stronghold. Besides from that, let's hunt some chompies. One of the best spots to kill chompies is just south of Castle Wars. If you just cross the bridge and go west, just keep going west until you can't go any further. Okay, when you can't go any further west, apparently this world is taken. Let's hop to another one. Well, there are enough frogs for like five people, but I want to be left alone. So first, let's fill up all our bellows with the swamp bubbles. Okay, finally, and we are done. All 24 are, damn it. All 24 are now filled. Let's use our overbellows on the hopping toads. Do this until you have three in your inventory. One more. And what you need to do now is just drop the bloated toads. Doesn't matter where, doesn't matter how many distance they're in between. Once you have set up three, let's 
fill up some toads with some more swamp air. Until you have three in your inventory. And then place some bloated toads once again. And do this until some chompies appear and kill all of them that spawn. Do this until you've killed 30 chompies. And that will be your final task completed. Now be sure to not stay too long, because once we have uh, killed 30 chompies, we will be able to claim our first hat. So we'll be able to claim our Western Easy Reward, and then we will be getting 25% chance of spawning two chompies instead of one while we are hunting them. And to check the amount of kills that you get, is just right click on your comp bow or your regular ogre bow, check it, and that will say your amount. I will need to kill 16 more. Alright, and this should be kill number 30. Yes, I am an Ogre Bowman. To get a little bit of money out of this, I'm going to take some Rock Chumpies. And let's now teleport to the Veldip Hills to claim our hat from Rance, and this will complete our last task. Then we just need to teleport ourselves back to the Gnome Stronghold and claim our reward. As for the rewards, we will get a Western Banner number 1. And you will now get 25 free Ogre Arrows from Rance every day. I don't know why you would want those, because Brutal Arrows are way better. And you'll also get 25% chance of spawning two Chompies instead of one. And also, with every easy diary, you will get a experience lab, which will get you 2500 experience in any skill that you want, if it is at least level 30 or higher. Alright, let's drop this hat let's go to the stronghold all right here is the elder gnome child let's talk to him we will get our reward and this was my guide how to complete the western easy achievement diary tasks hopefully it helped subscribe rate and comment okay thanks bye